The ground beneath Metro Manila is trembling, not from an earthquake, but from the sound of progress. Deep below the city's relentless traffic, giant machines are carving out a new future. The Metro Manila subway, once thought impossible, this project is now becoming a reality. Massive tunnel boring machines or TBMs are breaking through soil and rock, connecting the city in a feat of modern engineering. Concrete segments are lowered into the earth, forming the bones of the Philippines' first underground railway. This is more than construction. It's a revolution beneath our feet. On the surface, life goes on, cars gridlock, commuters waiting for hours. But underground, a different story unfolds. In Valenzuela City, engineers guide a machine the length of a football field through the earth. This TBM, named Kaunlaran, recently completed its initial drive, a milestone for the nation. The noise is deafening, the scale immense, and the mission clear. Build a subway that will change millions of lives. Government officials mark these milestones, speaking of a new era defined by world-class infrastructure. Every meter of tunnel dug is a step away from the congestion that has defined Metro Manila for decades. The project is a bold statement. The Philippines is ready to tackle its biggest challenges with big solutions. This isn't just about tunnels and trains. It's about time. Time lost in traffic. Time families could spend together. Time the economy loses to inefficiency. The Metro Manila subway promises to give that time back. As of November 2025, the progress is undeniable. The rumbling underground is a countdown to a new beginning. It's the sound of a city and a country moving forward. The journey is long, but for the first time, a modern connected Metro Manila feels within reach, and it's a story we'll be watching closely. The Metro Manila subway is a vital artery, stretching 33 kilometers from Valenzuela in the north to the south of the metropolis. Its route is strategic, connecting business centers, government offices, and densely populated communities long underserved by mass transit. 17 stations will serve as gateways to the city's vibrant tapestry. The line passes through Quezon City, Ortigas, Makati, and Bonifacio Global City, areas where millions work and live, and where traffic is at its worst. By going underground the subway promises a 45-minute end-to-end journey, a trip that can now take hours. A spur line will connect directly to Ninoy Aquino International Airport, transforming airport access for travelers. This integration elevates the subway to critical national infrastructure, boosting tourism and business. The route is designed for today's needs and tomorrow's growth, encouraging new hubs around its stations. This is transit-oriented development, a blueprint for a more organized, accessible, and dynamic Metro Manila. The subway is a lifeline for a city gasping for air. The real stars underground are the tunnel boring machines, or TBMs, colossal cylindrical factories on wheels. Each TBM is over 100 meters long, with a massive rotating cutter head that grinds through soil and rock. These earth pressure balanced TBMs are chosen for Manila's soft, unstable ground. As the cutter head digs, excavated material is moved into a pressurized chamber, preventing tunnel collapse and surface sinking. Launching a TBM is a major event. Machines like Kaunlaran are assembled underground and begin their slow, relentless journey. As they advance, a robotic arm fits precast concrete segments together, forming the tunnel's permanent lining. A small train system follows, carrying away muck and bringing in supplies. Engineers operate the TBM 24-7 from a control room inside, monitoring direction, speed, and geology. Progress is slow, just a few meters a day, but each meter is a victory over the city's toughest obstacle, the ground itself. These machines are marvels of engineering, making the impossible possible. Every tunnel completed is a step closer to a transformed city. The TBMs are the unsung heroes of Metro Manila's future. Every mega project faces the challenge of time, and the Metro Manila subway is no exception. The original timeline was ambitious, but the pandemic and right-of-way issues caused major delays. Securing land for stations and construction yards meant negotiating with thousands of landowners. A slow, sensitive process. Despite setbacks, the project pushes forward with renewed vigor. Updated timelines now target partial operations by 2029, with full operations in the early 2030s. Construction is happening simultaneously in multiple locations, with teams working around the clock. There's a clear sense of urgency. Every day of delay is another day of traffic and lost productivity. The phased approach means the public will benefit from the subway even as construction continues. The revised timeline is a promise millions are watching closely. The hope, this time, the promise of a modern subway will finally be kept. The subway's 17 stations are the heart of the system, connecting people to a new underground world. Starting in the north with East Valenzuela, Quirino Highway, and Tandang Sora, these stations serve millions in Quezon City. The North Avenue Common Station will link the subway with MRT3, LRT1, 
and MRT-7, creating a true transport hub. Further south, stations like Ortigas and Anonas connect to business districts and LRT-2. Calayan Avenue and Bonifacio Global City stations will finally make BGC accessible by public transport. The line ends at Neaye Terminal 3, giving travelers a direct airport link. Each station is designed for comfort and safety, with platform screen doors, escalators, elevators, and clear wayfinding. These are more than transit points, they're modern public spaces anchoring communities. The stations will connect the dots of a once fragmented city. The Metro Manila subway is one of the most expensive infrastructure projects in Philippine history, over 350 billion pesos, or about 7 billion US dollars. Most funding comes from Japan, through low-interest long-term loans from JICA. Japan's support is more than financial. Japanese firms bring world-class expertise in subway construction and safety. The Philippine government contributes through the national budget, mainly for land acquisition and administration. This joint funding structure ensures the project's sustainability and quality. The partnership is a testament to trust and shared vision. The price of progress is high, but the cost of inaction is even higher. This is an investment in the country's future. To manage the subway's immense scale, construction is divided into contract packages. Each package covers a section of the line or a specific component, allowing specialized contractors to work simultaneously. The first package includes the main depot, initial tunnels, and the first three stations in Valenzuela. Subsequent packages extend the line south, tackle complex areas like Ortigas, and connect to BGC and the airport. Separate packages cover systems like tracks, electromechanical works, and the trains themselves, custom built in Japan. This approach ensures every component meets exacting standards. Breaking the project down keeps progress steady and quality high. The Metro Manila subway is more than a new transport option. It's a profound change in daily life. Imagine a worker reaching Taguig from Quezon City in under an hour, reclaiming time for family and rest. The subway will ease road congestion, cut air pollution, and lower transportation costs. It will unlock economic potential along its route, driving investment and development. The project is a symbol of Philippine ambition and capability, proving world-class infrastructure is possible. It sets a new benchmark for public works and boosts national pride. Ultimately, it connects people to jobs, education, and opportunity. The economic benefits are enormous, billions saved in productivity and fuel. This is about building a stronger economy, a cleaner environment, and a brighter future. The Metro Manila subway is where cutting-edge technology meets a nation's dream. Japanese-engineered TBMs, guided by satellite and lasers, dig with precision unimaginable a generation ago. The trains feature automatic control and advanced safety, pinnacles of modern rail technology. Filipino engineers and workers are gaining invaluable experience, building local capacity for the future. Japan's partnership has been the catalyst, but this is a Filipino achievement, driven by vision and determination. The subway sets a new precedent for Philippine infrastructure, paving the way for future lines in other cities. It marks a shift from car-centric development to sustainable, people-focused mobility. This is the flagship of a new golden age of infrastructure. The rumbling beneath Manila is the sound of a future being built, one meter at a time. It's a story of technology, teamwork, and belief in a better tomorrow. The journey is underway, reshaping the nation's landscape.